How do you file like suits when sellers walk away from the contracts like four days before closing, three days before closing? Like, oh, I called my daughter to let her know that I'm moving in with her on Friday and my daughter said she wants the house. So I'm going to quick claim it to her. That was one. How much uh, equity, how much profit would you have made on that house? That was roughly ballpark. Okay, now let me let me pull out my calculator. Uh, that one was let me see. We had a contract for two thirty three, about sixteen thousand. So here's the thing: when you sue somebody, it's in that case, it's called specific. You're suing for specific performance. You're going to have to get a lawyer to do that. And the lawyer may cost you three or four or $5,000 to, you know, to get specific performance, uh, which is them closing the sale with you. If it was a cash sale, you have to be prepared to write that check. Um, so is it worth spending three, four or $5,000 to maybe make 16? Well, isn't the uh, losing party responsible for the attorney fees? Uh, if you were to win and you have that in the contract, yes. It is in our contracts that we had the right to uh, suit for the figure that we agreed upon. So one is 22000 the other one is sixteen. Okay, so I had two. It's the same thing. Just... You, you have the right. Uh, to hire a lawyer, find an attorney, and tell him you want him to sue for specific performance. You're going to have to find the right lawyer who deals with that. But you guys are realtors down there. You probably know some lawyers who, you know, are hep on that deal. I kind of was trying to do it myself. <laughs> well, that's that's the what we call the poor man's version, which is you get on the phone and just raise heck with these people and say, I'm going to hire the lawyer and pay him the 3000 and he's going to shove it up and block your tailpipe and, you know, that's it. I'm going to end up with the house and you're going to end up with a bill from my lawyer. So why don't we just do this, you know, the right way and you go ahead and finish selling it to me like you agreed in the contract. Okay. I did that already. Okay. Then go to the lawyer <laughs> thing. Or, or play. It's a financial decision only you guys can make. Okay, got it. So I guess I just probably need to get my lawyer to teach us at least one time. So hopefully. He can always send a real strong shot over the bow, kind of a screw you letter, strong le stronger letter to follow letter. Got so, it. And that's cheaper version and that might scare the, you know, the rain boots off him. No, I already tried that. One drinks a whole lot and the other one is 90 years old. So he was really drunk when he walked away from the contract. Yeah, the 90-year-old probably, he probably not a lot he's afraid of. So there's probably nothing you're going to do to him. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, I mean, it is what it is. It just sucks, you know, so much work. And then, like, literally two days before the contract, they're like, oh, change your mind. Thank you. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, I hear you. I've had that happen. You also want to consider the optics on the deal. Not that I care so much about what other people think of me, but just think about, uh, you know, Jeff, I think, yeah, I think you've told this story in the past about your tenant terrorist, yes. uh, lease option guy, and he went to the local news and pretty soon your company name is all over the nightly news, your predatory scammers and all this yep. stuff, kicking old ladies out of their house. Yep. You know, well, blah, blah, just blah, at the so. office one Wednesday morning and here comes the local news crew and the guy just busts in and says, yeah. You know, I hear you're scamming all these people. Well, a whole bunch of our tenants, you know, we had hundreds of houses. A certain number of them didn't pay their bills and we rightfully evicted them. We'd gone through the full process with a lawyer and evicted them and we won and we got judgments against these people. And, you know, they came back and got the, you know, the liberal news media out here to go boo-hoo on their shoulders. So we, we fought back and won, but I mean, that, you know, that takes a couple of years off your life when you do that. So, you know, do you want to be right or do you want to survive? Uh, uh, both. <laughs> yeah, but that, you you got to pick one, man. You have to pick one. I, I, in, the, in my past life, I would always go for, you know, 
throwing the, the flaming arrows and darts and the red meat eater, you know, I had them all on speed dial. Uh, but, you know, that's, you get old. You know? Yeah. I guess it's just, uh, it's, it, I guess it was just like a, you know, crazy man with the whole coronavirus. Everybody got coronavirus uh, iffy about things. Yeah. So on number six, lost contract, I kind of got pissed. Yeah, well, so it kind of finally got to me. The, at the end of the day, I can tell you the optics are going to weigh out over everything else. And it's not going to look good for you to be on the nightly news suing a 90 year old, probably war veteran. And yeah. How do you know that he went to Vietnam War? You don't, you don't win that one. That's not even a Netflix deal. It's, it's just not happening. So <laughs> just give it up and go do another one. You make twice as much. You know, revenge is the best. You know, success is the best revenge. So go out and do another one and make twice as much money. That's okay. We did we did two this week. Uh, I think we did, was it like 16,000 on one? We're wholesaling another one on Friday for 22. And I'm working on a duplex right now. All right, perfect. So I shouldn't be thinking on what is missing, right? I should be thankful for what we still yeah, have. Be thankful for what you got and to pick up, yeah. you know, learn crocheting or something to keep your mind busy <laughs> so, you don't, so you don't be thinking about killing everybody out there. <laughs> Thank you. I knew I needed this call tonight. It's like counseling. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do we do?